What's up you guys? Back here doing some micro building. I decided against building a Eurofighter. I want to go ahead and build a micro J10. It's the 3D 3D jets they have on YouTube. I already went ahead and built a little thrust vector unit. You can see we got up and down, left and right. Turned out cool. I'm going to be using the uh, E Flight 28mm EDF unit in this. And then the new UMX Ultra Micro F1, or is it F16, I think it is? It has the 13,500 kV brushless motor. You can see I got my EDF unit in here. Made it a nice tight fit. There's my little 28 millimeter E flight EDF. A little five bladed fan. You can see the thrust vector nozzle here. For the thrust tube itself, I just used a. I use it on a lot of my builds. It's just a kid's coloring book material. It's like the cover off a kid's coloring book. Get them at the dollar store. I like to use it because it's nice and smooth on the inside. So that's what the inside of the thrust tube is made out of. Air go right over that nice and smooth. here I'll show you what I did just take and roll this stuff up to the size you need just like I got and for the thrust vector nozzle I just made it join in two other places with some carbon fiber rod turned out cool stuff here this is just I'm waiting on my motor in the mail it's gonna be cool when it's finished you guys a little thrust vector in J10 I'm gonna run it with the little nanotech 180 milliamp 3 cell 40C discharge. I got this at Hobby King. Hobbyking.com. You can also use the cool little E Flight batteries they have. This is a 150 milliamp 45C discharge, so you get a lot of power with those. Yep, 45C. And that's just a two cell. Three cell, you get more power, but you run the risk of too much power and burn out your electronics. But alright, I'll get back to you when I get more built here. I also got some Great Plains 3mm like Depron foam coming to build this out of. Uh, another thing I've been doing, you guys, is for a lot of my microjet builds, like this bat wing here, I just take I found I could take regular foam board and I just peel the peel the paper off the stuff on both sides. 
here I got a nice big piece. This stuff works great for building the little micro jets that I build. That's what this is made out of. It's like three millimeter once you pull that paper off. And it's really lightweight. And just to add a little strength, you can just use some clear scotch tape across it, wherever you need it. Stuff works awesome. For the tail fins on the bat wing, I use a go up to the dollar store and pick up these little foam plates and just like here went ahead and cut out a tail fin for that micro bat wing so you can use the foam board with the paper peeled off for the main fuselage and the body and the main wing but then again even for the fuselage pieces here I used this little plate material this stuff is thin and strong Surprised they don't sell this kind. I'd like to build some planes out of this stuff. They made it a little bigger. But alright, that's my little G10 coming along. I'm going to try to get some 3D flight out of it. I want to come in and hover straight up and down. That's why I built the thrust vector nozzle. Alright, I'll get you guys another video going once I get further along. Over and out. For the thrust tube itself, I just used a... I use it on a lot of my builds. It's just a kid's coloring book material. This is like the cover off a kid's coloring book. Get them at the dollar store. I like to use it because it's nice and smooth on the inside. So that's what the inside of the thrust tube is made out of. Air go right over that nice and smooth. Right. Take a piece here, I'll show you what I did. Just take and roll this stuff up to the size you need. Just like I got. Then for the thrust vector nozzle just made it join in two other places with some carbon fiber rod. Too much power and burn out your electronics. But alright, I'll get back to you when I get more built here. I also got some Great Plains 3 millimeter like Depron foam coming to build this out of. Uh, another thing I've been doing you guys is for a lot of my micro jet builds like this bat wing here I just take I found I could take regular foam board and I just peel the peel the paper off this stuff on both sides here I got a nice big piece stuff works great for building the little micro jets that I build. That's what this is made out of. It's like three millimeter once you pull that paper off. Or is it F-16 I think it is? It has the 13,500 kV brushless motor. You can see I got my EDF unit in here. Made a nice tight fit. There's my little 28 millimeter E flight EDF. A little five bladed fan. Thrust vector nozzle here. A 
turned out cool. Stuff here, this is just I'm waiting on my motor in the mail. It's gonna be cool when it's finished, you guys. A little thrust vector in J10. I'm gonna run it with the little Nanotech 180 milliamp 3 cell. 40C discharge. I got this at Hobby King. HobbyKing.com. You can also use the cool little E flight batteries they have. This is a 150 milliamp 45C discharge, so you get a lot of power with those. Yep, 45C. And that's just a two cell. Three cell, you get more power, but you run the risk of. What's up, you guys? Back here doing some micro building. I decided against building a Eurofighter. I want to go ahead and build a micro J10. It's the 3D 3D jets they have on YouTube. I already went ahead and built a little thrust vector unit. You can see we got up and down. left and right turned out cool I'm going to be using the uh, E-Flight 28 millimeter EDF unit in this and then the new UMX Ultra Micro F1